if they are common, if there is a scale that fits there to, to use one scale for several chords belonging to the same family, etc. As in the case of the model thing, I explained how to use these modes or the basic inclusion cadence chords. Uh, and, or you could also play, choose two or more scales for one chord or one scale for each chord. That is up to you. But first, in my method, if you join the, the lessons on the Skype to, to really get this Clear, you will see how we approach it first very easily, meaning starting with less scales, maybe one scale for several chords, and then gradually we start adding more possibilities because otherwise we will sound flat. If I keep playing just F major over this cadence thing, at some point I will I will sound flat. There is no nuance, I will sound the same. So then therefore it's like painting in just one color. Of course, that is minimalistic stuff or anything, but the thing is that to get variety into sound, it's important that we at least know, and if we choose to rule out some scales, no problem. Let's say I explained just another video, quite a lot of said did not 
like to use pentatonic scale because he doesn't know how to. Doesn't he said I don't feel this scale how to play it, so it would be very weird to see him doing this thing because he do not feel the leaks of that, and therefore he said this we don't use. So that, that was his personal choice, right? So if you rule, rule out some scales or anything, but you choose your scales, either one scale for several chords or more than one scale for each chord or one scale for each chord. Like McLaughlin had so many options when you say D minor, and then now what do you want? Fourths, this, four tone, anything uh, can be, he can use because he has a lot of knowledge. Therefore, again, Improvisation is also about knowledge, just the first aspect of scale choosing, which is scale I will, I will use. We need to know just the basic theory of it, why it is so that, the, that such and such a scale works or do not work over the chords. And then also know the fingerings of the scale, because in guitar, this instrument this is weird that <laughs> you know, in piano there is only one key for each note, but here we have several. Uh, threads for, for the same notes, therefore here we can, we can play the thing in many different ways. Hay algo que descubrí ahí en la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonía está en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música. 